All right, guys, if you clicked on this video, you must have an algae problem that's just covering your plants. You love your plants and you don't just want to throw them in the trash. So what are you going to do? Well, I heard about this bleach technique and we're going to try it on the tank behind us, which don't peek. No, no peeking. That's it's already been done. But in this video, you're going to see me try and bleach these plants, try and save the tank. We're even going to rescape the whole thing. So you might be able to see past my shoulders here that it might have worked, but keep watching and find out for sure. Here's our 10 gallon guppy tank, our molly and guppy breeding tank here. And as you see, it is pretty cloudy. It's got multitude of problems, one being that cloudiness right there. This bacterial bloom has not been able to get under control. We've had extra filtration with filter floss in here. We have tried doing Seachem Clarity here and uh, it helped a little bit, but it just uh, will not go away. And then we have another problem that has struck in the tank. And that is the reason you clicked on this video, the algae issue on the plants. So we have some BBA on the Anubias here. You can't see it, but all the way in the back, you may be able to see the BBA on these little leaves right here. But pretty much all the plants are starting to get covered with BBA. Hello, Jenny. How are you? I'm not going to feed you right now. Sorry. But the tank has just gotten out of control. So we're going to strip it all down, take everything out, find all the fish and shrimp and snails and move them. And then we are going to try the bleach dip on all these plants and see if we can save this tank. And then we're going to replant it without some structure. I hope you guys can see this. We have a little fry right here. You see his little wiggle butt right there? Look at the little fry. Oh, he's growing up too. All right, let's try and get this little guy. In the net, buddy. Yeah. All right, we saved you. I did move our little guy. Look, little fry. I moved him into this cup. Foreshadowing here. Because I didn't want the guppies in here to find them and eat them while they're waiting. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm gonna take all of this substrate out, sort out the rocks and everything, and then I'm gonna go outside and wash it. It'll be a sand and, and substrate mix, but I hate this substrate. I mean, look, one little thing and you get this cloudy plume, right? This red cloud. And that might have been why this tank was always cloudy. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pull all this out and I'm just going to rinse it and rinse it and rinse it until it is just the little granules. But before we do that, I decided to put our little fry in the shrimp tank here. He's super small and the shrimp are super small, but I don't think he's going to hurt the little shrimp. Not till he gets bigger anyway. And so we are drip acclimating him to this tank. I just want to get him in there so that he doesn't run out of oxygen or something. I don't know. He's, he's probably okay, but we don't want to lose the little guy. So we're going to give him a five gallon playground all to himself that he can go and play around and grow up. Go on, little buddy. Go down. Not up. Go down, bud. He keeps trying to swim back into the cup. There you go, buddy. Got you a new place to live. All right, grow up, be strong. Gonna drop some root tabs in here since I washed out probably all the nutrients in the substrate. Using this little rock to kind of break them up. Now finish putting the substrate back. our light back so you can kind of see something. And now the part you've all been waiting for. We're going to bleach dip our plants. So obviously we have our plants in some uh, tap water here in this bowl. In this pot here we've got a 1 to 20 ratio of bleach to water. 
So we have one cup of bleach in here, 19 cups of water. Why they call that a one to 20 ratio when it's like one to 19, I don't know. But at any rate, that's what everybody says. So that's our bleach dip. We have a little container of fresh water here. And then we have our sink filled up with tap water as well. To the sink, we're going to add Seachem Prime, a dechlorinator. Now the instructions say one cap per 50 gallons. We are really trying to dechlorinate some bleach. So we're gonna do two caps in this probably four gallon, five gallon. I don't know, that might be a 10 gallon, whatever. We're gonna do two caps in here just to be sure. And then we're gonna do this twice, but we'll get to that. Now, different plants have a different tolerance for how long they can stay in this bleach solution. I don't really know, and I'm not going to look up each individual plant because that would just take forever to try and find a video of somebody telling you how long each plant can stay in there. We've got guppy grass, we've got anubias, we've got, uh, oh crap, I uh, can't remember what this is. We've got some rotala, I think, in there. So at any rate, we're going to put all this stuff in the bleach water. Kind of swish it around. I'm going to do, I don't know, we got some pretty serious algae on these. People say you can go between 30 seconds and 4 minutes on your bleach dip. I'm going to go pretty heavy and do 3 minutes. So once we get this in here, I'm going to set a little Siri timer on my phone for 3 minutes. After that, we're going to pull it out and dump it in the fresh water and just kind of rinsey, rinsey, rinsey a little bit. And then we're going to throw it in our dechlorinated uh, soak tub here. All right, moment of truth. We either kill all of our plants or uh, we get rid of the algae. Let's go. Now, I do recommend that you wear gloves when you do this. I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm an idiot and my skin is pretty tough. So, Hey, Siri. Set timer for three minutes. Three minutes starting now. All right, it's time to take them out. Here's our fresh water. I'm trying to pull out what I think are the more sensitive plants first. Here's our Anubius. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of rinse these around until my fingers don't feel as slippery. It's a good way, I think, for me to tell if we're getting some of the bleach off of these guys. All right, my fingers feel pretty good, like the bleach is rinsed off. Let's get these guys into the other solution. I don't know if it's a placebo effect or what, but it does look like the plants are much greener. I do still have a couple of pieces that look like they've got some, some brown still, but we will cull the plants when we go to put them back in. We give this a swirl around here and let them sit and soak for a while. My fingers feel really good now. I mean, squeaky clean after being in the dechlorinator. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Then I've got plants like this here. I don't think they're going to make it. You see how this guy here turned yellow? In the water, his leaves almost look clear. Let me see if I can get you a shot of that. You see how the leaves almost look clear in the water? I'm pretty sure that we killed that plant. I would imagine you probably want to do this with your hardiest of plants and not really your delicates, but some of your thick stem plants, you know, if they've got a really kind of strong stem, I think you're good. I just broke a leaf. Oh. But so far, everything kind of looks pretty good except that one plant, which I think is guppy grass, so I'm not really that worried about it. Okay, I'm going to keep rinsing for a couple minutes here, then we're going to change this water out. All right, we're going to drain this water, and then we're going to rinse them again. And by the way, yes, I scrubbed the sink with a bunch of water before I did this. No chemical solution was used to clean the sink. Okay, while this continues to fill up here, I'm going to do one more cap full. I'm not going to do two this time. I am noticing a little bit of yellowing on some of the lower leaves. I don't remember if they were yellow before. They were covered in algae, so I might not have even known. I mean, we have some new growth here. That's good. If these plants survive, I think we'll be good. That's a good looking plant. 
Here we are after the bleaching, guys, and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. I mean, like, look at this greenery we got here. Look at this Anubius, looking brand new, this guy here. Now, it's a pretty hardy plant, so I expected it to survive pretty well. And all of our other plants are looking good. Any algae that was kind of all up in these leaves here is all gone, melted away. We do have a little bit of leaf melt, and I don't know if these plants are going to continue to melt, but, I mean, look at this one. Just beautiful. Looking great and healthy. Like, right here, right here you can see, like, where some really bad algae spots were that killed the leaves. But, overall, the plant looks really good. Okay, I'm going to scape this with kind of this granite leftover I have, because the wife really likes the shrimp tank. She really loves our shrimp tank here. We're going to try and do a little something with this granite. So in the next scene, you're going to see this thing planted and scaped. And that's coming up in three, two, one. And here's an update about three days later. We will start with these guys back here. They have a little bit finer leaf. They are... Doing okay. I think they're going to recover, but uh, probably was too long. Now you see some stuff floating around in there. That's a foreshadowing. That's our guppy grass, which I don't think any of the guppy grass is going to make it. Everything turned kind of white or clear, and uh, it's all just melting and falling out of the substrate, and it's all collecting in the filter. So at least we know that our little our little power head here uh, works pretty good to circulate the uh, the water flow because it's all ending up on the bottom of the filter. And of course we've got some floating around. So I'm going to clean that out, but everything else is doing good. The Anubius recovered 100%. It's good. We got our little Amano up here. Isn't she a cutie? Need to get you a boyfriend and make some more. Mm-hmm. But all the other plants, even this really fine stuff, can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, it is doing good. Everything's doing good. It probably could have got away with a little bit shorter of a bleach dip, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with the results. I think the plants are, for the most part, going to recover just fine. I've been dosing some fertilizers and stuff. All right. So there's your update. I would say if you're going to do this, maybe two minutes would be good. And anything that has a super thin or fine leaf, however you want to word that, I would say probably uh, just a 30 second dip on that, if anything. I think the bleach treatment worked. I mean, there's the, the algae is all white uh, on the plants, but the fish seem to be happy. I don't see anything detrimental right now. I think it's a success. I mean, much less the rescape, which looks much better. I mean, come on, let's all agree. Drop a comment if you think the scape looks a lot better now than it did before. But the point of this video was making the plants reusable. And I think we did that. Now, there will be a follow-up video. So make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see the follow-up video. But in a few weeks... I'm going to make a follow-up video on this tank and I'm going to make sure that these plants don't just melt away because of the bleach. And if they do, I'm going to film it. I'm not going to hide nothing from you. So I hope you enjoyed this whole video and uh, I hope you follow along with the rest of it. Thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys on the next one.